Hello, it is Fran Smitherman from Creative Life Scrapbooking here with your second holidays layout. And I hope it's something that you can do easily with your candy cane border maker cartridge. Or if you don't have that one, maybe you have the original cartridge that you may have gotten with your border maker system that you can also recreate this layout with. But it's a very simple layout. And all you're going to do is thread a sheet of cardstock through as if it were a ribbon. And of course, you don't have to do that to get this layout. You can always use a great link sticker, uh, but I just thought it added a little special something. And the fun thing is with the candy cane border maker cartridge, you actually get these fun little punch outs that I use to make some additional stitches on the page. So let me go ahead and show you what we're doing here. Uh, just just like I said, if you would rather use a sticker, think the Great Link sticker from this year's Christmas cheer or any Great Link sticker would do to substitute for the threaded ribbon look, of course. And while I use embellishments, the stickers can work as well. So there are a lot of different collections you could use this layout with. The sheet that I use to punch the, um, the ribbons through, is eight inches by 12 inches. So that would be your first thing would be to find your designer paper, the one that you wanna feature most prominently, you're gonna see the most of it and cut it into an eight by 12 square. You might also like to have some white card stock on hand so you can make these borders at the top and the bottom. And while I, while I use the Christmas cheer from 2023, it's good to know that a lot of the previous Christmas collections, Creative Memories has told us, coordinates with it. And just to show you, this is Shades of Seasonal Sightings. I know it looks what good with it as well. So lots of different options if you don't have this exact collection. Um, I would like to say that I love this Mars Shimmer cardstock. It was limited edition. So if you were lucky enough to get some of that, wonderful. That is what I use for mine. I really literally think it looks like Christmas ribbon. So that's why I was so drawn to it. So let me just go ahead. I'm not gonna do the whole layout, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about the threading technique and the punch outs that we're going to have as a result of our border maker cartridge. So we'll get our eight inch by 12 inch feet of cardstock. And I already have my candy cane border maker cartridge loaded in. So we'll just make these punches really quickly along the top and the bottom. And I will not throw away what it spits out because I'm actually going to use it later in the layout, at least the thicker one. I will get rid of the, the smaller ones. All right. So that. Quickly turn it over. Guys out of the way. Use later. Well, this layout actually does come together pretty quickly. It's not too elaborate. I think if you wanted to get um, ambitious and try it with some of our other punches, you could. I've, I'm curious to know if the uh, the zoo, the zebra stripe one would work. It might be a little too narrow, a little too tricky, but um, I know for sure from this layout that it works with the candy cane. So we've got this. As you can see, um, I'm gonna put that over to the side. And you know, one thing that I would say is just personal preference. If you wanted to do this, the half inch ribbon and the um, three quarters inch ribbon, they both worked, okay? So neither of them gave me a hard time threading through. So just so you know that, um, it's up to you how, you know, how much, whether you wanna see a lot of the background or not that much background, you want it to be a tighter fit personal preference, one is half inch, one is three quarters of an inch, just so you know what we're looking at here. So get out my 12 inch trimmer and just cut one of those, All right? So I will go here to the half inch. And uh, even though this is shimmer cardstock, you may think, oh, it's a little bit thin, it may not work as well um, in terms of pushing through. It worked just fine. Um, so you know the traditional cardstock would work just as well. So all I'm gonna do is just start here and just kind of gently push in up and under, just like that. And nothing gets bent, I don't have any creases. 
and uh, it's really not that bad. And you kind of have to pull back every once in a while just to get it realigned. And just kind of push from the back. And this is a good, you know, a good look if you're trying to make something that looks like baskets. I'm a big fan of baskets. I've never actually made a basket. I know people have gone to classes where they've actually woven a basket. I've never done that, but I would suspect it might be a little something like this, but more difficult. I definitely admire that when people do. All right, another thing that I did when I was creating this was uh, at times I flipped it over and worked from the back. But right now, I'm not really having too difficult of a time with this. So pull back, straighten it up. And you'll notice on the layout, you know, I covered the ends with embellishments, just in case it's not perfect, it's not a perfect fit, doesn't tie off in a, needy, need, a neat bow at the end you wanna cover up. That's what the embellishments can do for you if you'd like. All right, we're almost there. It's really cute. All right, just like that. And there you go. So there's your ribbon and what you have as a result of the punch outs look something like this and the larger ones are the ones I'm looking for and we always talk about stitching with creative life scrapbooking we make a lot of stitching marks with pins uh, like it's going around the edge of something but I thought you know what this could actually look like actual stitching with some of these um, negative punches so that's it. And so I hope you have a great time with our holidays this season and happy holidays.